Well, Haiti, ho everybody. Don't ask me what that means. Uh, however, this is a uh, quick video, hopefully quick, about what's going on. I mean, it is March 15th and package time is opening. It's almost like Christmas every time I do this. Uh, got all kinds of uh, new, got some new stuff in, new product in. Uh, we've replenished, actually these are new. Um, we have our cowboy lotion, cowboy scented lotion. It is amazing. It's fantastic. It smells just like the cowboy scented soap. It is awesome possum. Uh, we also have, well, let's see here. We've got, uh, we've got some new citrus bars in. Got three of those in. Uh, got quite a few of the unscented in that I can, believe it or not, I can help you scent those up if you'd like. These are all $7 a piece or two for 12. And each one of these bars, each one of these bars, whoop, get my video strength going here, uh, replaces two large bottles of lotion. Why? Because there's no water. Ta-da! No water. You you look, uh, take the water and the alcohol out of the, let's turn that around since that's in there. Here we go. Uh, you take that out of the um, bottle and, you know, if it's your all natural stuff like ours is, which is made with four major ingredients, that's it. Looks like a lot of stuff on there, right? It's not. That just tells you the how to use it. This, da, 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 da. we got shea butter, coconut oil, uh, vitamin E oil. This particular one has lavender essential oil in it and a little bit of beeswax to hold it together. Your shea butter will hold it together too, but your beeswax, that's the main reason for the beeswax. And then we have, uh, we've got more lavender uh, goat's milk soap, which is 36% goat's milk, higher than any I've seen so far. Not all goat's milk soap, just because you know somebody who makes it, no offense to them, not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, remember, that the quality of items is not always the same. Not saying ours is better or worse, just saying to remember just because you've tried one doesn't mean they're all the same, okay? So don't hesitate to ask for a sample because I love giving samples. I do have a new scent in. It's called Mountain Rose. Uh, so we've got that one in. It's a very light scented rose. It smells wonderful. Uh, these are also two for 12, one for seven. What else do I have in today? Uh, for any of you that were there last weekend, uh, and you knew I was out of my shampoo bars. These fly out the door because they're unscented. They have castor oil in them to help with your hair. They take all any buildup of hairspray, mousse, anything like that, they take it out. Say goodbye. And if you don't want a scent, then this is the one for you. You can also use this on your pooch. It's very safe for them and their skin. So no drying them out. Got some uh, new uh, replenished our lemongrass and lavender. Uh, got some more cowboy scented because almost out of that. And some more eucalyptus and peppermint. Now don't let the pepper the pepper peppermint blah, 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 blah. don't let the peppermint fool you or scare you away from it. The eucalyptus is excellent for your muscles. Okay, and the peppermint helps to take that full eucalyptus smell out of there. And, and level it off a little bit. It also is excellent for summer to help cool your skin down. So that's good for that, especially if you got a burn going on. And, and, did I put that one down? Oh, and then of course we have our gardener's hands. Look, I wanna tell you about the gardener's hands for a minute. This one's got quite a bit of stuff in it in comparison to a lot of them. Uh, let me see, I gotta look at this the right way. Because, it's got the kukui nut. I don't know if you're familiar with it or not, but the kukui nut, the olive uh, oils in it, and ca uh, the calendula. Calendula is known for taking stings away. Uh, it's one of the things that's in our, oh my gosh, our fix it. How could I almost forget about our fix it? Um, animal lovers, horse lovers, dog lovers, cat lovers, uh, ointment lovers. Anybody that likes their antibiotic ointment, if you would prefer to get off the antibiotics, because that's exactly what's in antibiotic ointment, 
This is the answer to your prayers. This stuff is amazing. Okay, now look, it's not going to heal everything overnight. All right, everybody's different. But I can tell you this, and I have some uh, pictures, before and after pictures, that I'll be getting out again. Uh, one of our horses here dis uh, ended up with a cut over her eye. She threw herself down on the ground in the trailer and got a cut over the eye. And you can't, it, you know, that's a hard place to bandage. So... I took the fix it and I said, okay, let's do this. And within three days, it was completely, actually two days, it was um, sealed up. Okay, not totally healed up, but sealed up. And I never had an issue with proud flesh. Not one itty bitty issue. Okay. This tin is, this, is like a large tube of ointment. Okay. It's fantastic. You can't beat this stuff. It smells great and it works fantastic. We also have, and I'm so excited about this. These are these little ones, well, the smaller ones, excuse me. These are $5 a tin. And we now have, we now carry the large bottles. That's right. That's right. I said it large bottles. <laughs> so, what a great one. Now, this one. Uh, what a great one to have, you know, in your in your tack box. Um, I mean, like I said, you could take some of it out and put it in your bathroom for you. You could take some out and put it in your tack box. You can take some out and use it for the dog. Whatever the case is, this stuff is freaking amazing. Here, let me try this real quick. Let's see, we're almost at seven minutes, so I'm going to try and cut it short. Look at all the fun stuff in there. However, let's unveil this for you. Unveiling. Wah, 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 wah. I know I've never been good at ah, it's knotted. I know, just rip it open, right? I don't want to just rip it up. I really like my Ziploc baggies for this kind of stuff instead. It's so much easier. But these type of baggies are cheaper, so I understand why, you know, places use them. Boop, boop, boop. It's a plastic jar, nice and nice weight. The lightweight. Excuse me, can't talk. And uh what? Oh, yeah, I was going to take the top off, wasn't I? Okay, here, hold on. Hold on. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. And there it is. Dun, da, 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 da. Look, it's a salve. It's an olive oil base. What's in it? Nyop, nyop, nyop. Here, let's go ahead and show you the... Whoops. Dyslexia kicking in. Uh, What do we got there? We got olive oil... Okay, now this is an infusion. So they take the olive oil and they put the comfrey, the calendula, plantain, yarrow, and rosemary in the olive oil. That's what infusion means. And they let it sit in there and soak. Uh, then we've got vitamin E. Uh, as you can see, a little bit of lavender, lemon, and eucalyptus essential oil and beeswax to help hold it together. That's what the beeswax is for. It's to help hold it together. And we appreciate those bees, let me tell you, because it's awesome. All right, uh, that's a large three ounce. You can see I'm holding on to this thing here. See the palm of the hand? Oop, fills it up. Nice big. We've had a lot of call for the big jars. Well, now you got them. And let me take a look here. Because I, it's a you know newer item to me, let's see, let's see. It is, where is it, where is it, where is it? Where is it? Is that right? Is it right? It is. You're going to love this. You are going to love this. It could be wrong, but let me look at this again. Just make sure. I don't want to give you the wrong price here. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Sure enough, kids. You're going to love this. So... We are looking at, okay, so for our small ones, whoop, whoop, we've got three ounces in our large one here, and we've got, doo -doo -doo -doo. what do we got in that one? We've got, I believe it's 0.8, yes, less than an ounce in this one here. This tin is running $5. I charge $5 for this one. I haven't raised the prices on these things, so I am taking a little bit of a cut. 
Uh, but that's okay because I love you guys. So, um, and I know you keep me going. There, <laughs> it's nighttime. I'm getting a little nutty. So there's our tin, little under, just under an ounce. Uh, however, don't let that fool you. There's a lot in here, and it goes a very long way. This is a five dollar tin. Are you ready for this? Ready, 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 Freddy. There's three and a half, uh, three and a half times the amount in here. And this bad boy is only going for $15. I believe that's right. I want to read that again. God, because, you know, I'm like, really? Really? Is it really? And yes, it really. I'm really only charging $15 for this one. How about that, kids? So, yeah, more than three times the amount. Uh, it's like three and a half of the small ones, and you're getting it for $15 instead of, you know, $15 and uh, another 7 So you're saving $7 when you buy this big bad boy. And this is the only one I have right now to see how fast it runs out the door. Um, okay. Got more stuff coming. Got more scents in. Uh, got Blue Bonnet in. That's a newer one to us. And then we've got Extravagance. Extravagance. Here, I'll let you smell it. <laughs> I just, I love doing that. I know I'm such an idiot. <laughs> you can't smell it. Smell vision. The one thing technology hasn't done for us yet. It's kind of a scary thought. Um, the Extravagance will remind you it it to me it reminds me of grapefruit and it smells so good it's such a clean clean smell so there's the extravagance i got some more um we have our citrus got more of that in if you've been looking for that got more of the uh, mountain orchard which is your apple cinnamon i had somebody i had a few people ask for the blueberry again we ran out of it so quickly last weekend um and so I have replenished the blueberry for you guys. And, of course, one you may not have seen in a while. It's another um, almost uh, masculine cologne type of scent. I, it's oak barrel. And I, I just love this scent. It's one of my favorites. Okay, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Come see us Friday, Saturday, Sunday uh, at Neely's Swap Meet uh, off 68 on Lowell Street. You can turn around if you're headed in from Bullhead. Uh, or Mojave Valley, you can turn your tickets around on Colorado and just make a big U.E. and come back and see us. We are there on, I am there on Fridays. The swap meet opens at uh, 8 o'clock. I, however, am there at 10 o'clock on Fridays. Excuse me, 10 to 2.30 on Fridays. And I say 2.30 because the gates close at... Uh, here, let me go ahead and turn this around. I don't want you to see my face tonight, but it's okay. You can. Yeah. Um, they're open till till 3 o'clock. However, they close the gate at, at 3 o'clock. So what you want to do is get there no later than 2.30 because I start wrapping up. That way, if I've got somebody at the table, we can wrap things up and be ready to go and out that door, out that gate, excuse me, at 3 o'clock. Um so, 10 to 2.30, that's the time that Caring Hearts for Horses is open. We're getting our walls put up. They look great. Now we're going to be getting the ceiling put up uh, and some carpeting or some flooring put in. And um, I know I'm forgetting something. Saturdays and Sundays, you will see me there at 9 o'clock to 2.30. Okay, you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. And... Hope to see you one of those two days. We're running really low on hay. Hay is expensive as hell, as you guys, if you don't know it, you do now. Um, running up to $26 a bale, and we're going through almost two bales a day. It's 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 kicking my ass, is what it's doing. And, you know, it is what it is, but we have our sanctuary horses. They're, they're retired. This is a retirement home for them. And I didn't do it just because I wanted to have a bunch of horses. So... I did it because they needed help, and uh, we've been around for almost six years, for those of you that aren't aware. I have been around for almost six years. Caring Hearts for Horses has been around for over six years, excuse me, since last December. And uh, um, because of the price of hay, we've had to, and, and the amount of horses that we have now, I've, I've had to close the gate. 
So we also help others when we can. And you know, if we can't keep enough hay in here for ours, how are we supposed to help everybody else? So, you know, we need your help. Uh, you can come down. If you're not interested in purchasing anything, you're more than welcome to make a donation, whether it's an in-kind donation or cash. Okay, have a great day. Oh, we also take uh, debit and credit card, kids. So no worries. You don't have to have cash on you. And uh, if you're out of town, we also ship. So, you know, making this business work, that's what we're doing. I'd rather, you know, make our money. So have a great day. Thank you so much. Quit looking at my... I know you're not, but... I see it. I see my big gap. This baby's going to be gone real soon, babies. Okay, talk to you later. Ciao for now from Caring Hearts Country Store and Tech. Bye.